All right, as a special bonus for this uh, tune of the week, I'm going to walk through the tab for this particular tune, Mulberry Gap. Again, you can download that um, with the link that's in the video description. So this tune comes from uh, Stephen Wade, who played it on his uh, 1990 album, Dancing Home. And he learned it from Chelsea Chansey of Cherry Log, Georgia. Uh, what a great name, right? Uh, Chansey was uh, apparently a moonshiner in addition to being a banjo player, and uh, is reportedly uh, quoted as saying, a five-string banjo is the only instrument you can entertain a crowd with by yourself. I'll take that for what it's worth. Um, so this, uh, this particular tune is in uh, FC-FCD tuning, uh, which some people might refer to as Sandy Riverbell tuning because that's where some people play the tune Sandy River Bell. And this, definitely, this tune definitely has echoes of that one. It seems like they might be cousins. Um, to get into that tuning, you want a C on the fourth string, an F on the third, a C on the second, a D on the first, and an F on the fifth. And bring up the tab. Now, um, this uh, tune is uh, crooked, meaning that it doesn't have the typical uh, structure, A, B structure, eight measures each um, that we know of as, a lot for the, as the standard way a lot of fiddle tunes are put together, but crooked tunes are common. You'll note that in particular in what we might think of as the B part, which we'll get to in a minute. All right, so let's start out uh, again. This blue box will mark what measure I am working on. This first measure sounds like this. One more time. All right, so all we're fretting is that third fret of the, of the first string. Down to the seventh fret, we play this. So again, this little, really pretty little echo here. You'll notice your banjo sounds great in this tuning. Um, it really resonates well. And then we play essentially what we played in the, in the first measure. And then last measure, it's only slightly different from the second. Okay. I should note here that Chansey actually played this uh, finger style and I'll be teaching the finger style version on uh, the fingerstyle banjo channel. All right, so that is the first four measures. Uh, I'll play them all together. All right. All right, next four measures, we start by repeating our first two measures. Next measure, you can really grab this seventh fret with any finger you wish. The most economical would be your pinky. And now we're going to close out this, what we might call our A part. So again. All right, so we have the open first, open first again, dropping our thumb to the open second. And then this hammer on, second fret of the third string to third fret. Brush thumb. Um, this is the only place in this tune where I have a drop thumb. Last measure here. All right, so every th all, the, all four measures here sound like this. And now we're going to move to our crooked B part. Starts out like this. Next measure. Next measure. like the first one we did of this B part. Next measure, like we closed out the A part. So all four of these measures sound like this. And now we only have two more measures, so it makes it crooked. We'd expect in a normal, normal, our brain wants to think that that part we just played is gonna repeat entirely. 
but only we're only rep repeating the first two measures, which sound like this. First measure. Next measure. And then, at least the way Chansey played it, you go back to the beginning. So that's the tab walkthrough for this tune. Um, if you like these, there are loads more of them that are part of the uh, Breakthrough Banjo course. Uh, you can click the link for more information to that. In the video description, there's also a link to the list of tunes that are inside the vault, uh, which are um, arrangements and videos for hundreds of tunes and songs.